Hilf den Long. First double fault of the match for Yelena Ostapenko. This is the top half of the draw. Naomi Osaka, the top seed, is in it. 15 40. Potential semi final opponent for either player, but right now, Igor Svioncek, who's had her struggles, it would be fair to say, after two double faults, has the chance for break point. And could get her first game on the board. Slip, that's what did it. 30, Gave Ostapenko all the time in the world. Much better second serve, though, from the Latvian. Another chance, though. She does break. Iga Svioncek. Finally, after seven games One where she couldn't win any, the eighth game has gone the way of the Polish qualifier. The 2018 junior Wimbledon champion is on the board here in Birmingham. One all in this second set. We're back on serve. First ace of the match as well. Got plenty behind a hit. You go, Shion check. Sent your result on centre. Julia Gerges is through. And for the first time in the match, Igor Svioncek holds. And a good hold, too. Friday, December 15, 2023. Set. Thank you so much for being here on Best Muscle Video on YouTube. If you're not familiar with this YouTube channel, we post one video every single day about Igor Svioncek. We've been taking a look at this match between Helena Astapenko and Igor Svioncek from 2019, uh, witnessing Igor win her first game ever in her career against Helena. This was after Iga had won 
junior uh, Wimbledon. Uh, she won the whole whole uh, uh, tournament in girls in Wimbledon, and then uh, she's just now kind of entering the pro circuit, and uh, respectfully saying she has really no answers for Ostapenko in this one. But it's interesting to watch these two players play. They would play again uh, later on in Indian Wells, and Helena would have Iga's number again in this one. She would lose that one as well. And I am not aware of Iga Sviantec ever beating Helena Ostapenko. So it's kind of interesting to watch these matches uh, between these two, kind of reminisce on these, and kind of trying to figure out why Helena is such uh, Iga's arch nemesis. Um, I think uh, as Iga Sviantec fans, we'll all be kind of a little bit nervous when, uh, or maybe have just a little bit of anxiousness when Helena and Iga take the court against each other coming up in 2024, uh, which we know is going to happen. So we'll see if Iga's team, who is so smart now, she has such a wonderful team put together uh, ever since 2021, uh, going on about three or four years now. And it's going to be really interesting to see what they come up with, what the game plan is going to be. Uh, Helena Ostapenko's a um, uh, really, really interesting player, has a lot of power, and that's really her game, power, power, power. And Iga Sviantec is more agility, speed, and um, stuff like that. So uh, what do you guys think? Please tell me in the comments. Helena Ostapenko, Iga Sviantec, why Iga cannot beat her, uh, kind of her, her arch nemesis on the tour. Um, because uh, Iga has beaten Sabalenka, Iga has beaten Pagula, Iga, of course, has dominated Coco Gauff, uh, Iga has beat all the top 10 players, but Helena Osfeko always seems to have her number, so um, interesting to see these two play, and uh, this one's interesting because uh, uh, Iga Sviantec, not her best uh, surface, uh, grass. It may very well be her most difficult surface for her to play on is grass, and then obviously her best service is clay, and then she plays pretty darn good as well on hard court, uh, recently uh, winning WTA finals and retaining her number one world ranking. It is interesting to see these two players now um, and to reminisce on this one um, just from four or five years ago on how the careers uh, take their paths. And um, Helena Ostapenko from a very interesting country. It starts with an L. I think it's called Latvia. I had to look that one up. I'm totally mispronouncing that country. Uh, correct me in the comments, and um, I want to say it's a country next to Russia and Belarus and that type of area, um, and then Poland. We all know where Poland is, um, so it's interesting. Uh, so maybe we can um, possibly take a look at this match more tomorrow or move on to something else, but we're really just counting down. We're about six days away from Iga Sviantec playing in the World Tennis League, so we're going to have so much coverage on that uh, right away as it happens. So please keep it here on Best Muscle Video on YouTube for that coverage and a lot more coverage coming in 2024. I'm uh, just looking at snippets and picking out moments uh, that we can talk about and commentate about and stuff like that. Uh, thanks button. I mentioned this once uh, each video. There's a thanks button on the bottom right of the video player. Do you see that? It just says the word thanks on your phone or your computer right there on YouTube. You can click on that and send me money that way. I would appreciate it so much. It is so late right now. Uh, over here in the United States, in Dallas, Texas, right now I'm in, a, in South Lake, Texas, is the suburb of Dallas, and so late right now, so I need to get some sleep. I I have to work in five hours, but wanted to get an Iga Sviantec video out today, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, rare, really rare video. There's no this video is nowhere to be found of Helena and Iga playing each other in 2019 in this match uh, over there in the United Kingdom. So super fun. Um, my name is Chris Gonbari. Here's my Instagram. And I will see you uh, hopefully right back here tomorrow on Saturday. Hope you enjoy the weekend. And man, Christmas is just around the corner. Merry Christmas, Jesus Christ's birthday. And I'll see you back here tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, and uh, please comment below because I read all the comments. Talk to you later.